The tenure of Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu as chair of the ECOWAS, the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, effectively came to an end on Sunday. However, his uh, colleagues at the 65th Ordinary Session holding in Abuja decided to give him another year. At the 65th Ordinary Session of the Authority of Heads of State and Government, which was held at the presidential villa in Abuja, he was re-elected. Senegal's president was invited to participate in the mediation process with Burkina Faso, Niger, and Chad. Uh, it was graciously accepted. Also, president of uh, Togo is also going to be uh, listed as an envoy for those states which remain defiant and reaffirmed their own alliance over the weekend. President Tinubu also called for financial commitments for security uh, to be held up, uh, pledged, of course, by members of ECOWAS and also uh, saying that uh, innovation, we need more innovation and also healthy business environments um, in the region. All right, um, let's get to Fidelity Bank and uh, there are public offer. There's, yeah, there it is, public offer and the rights issue. Got the details there, 97 billion for one, 29 for the other. Got the minimum subs, uh, subscriptions and the provisional allotments, number of shares, offer price, offer period, target investors, that's you watching the general public for the public offer and then also existing shareholders of the rights issue. Stock price not doing badly uh, as at Friday, um, closed at 10 naira, 20 kobo. So far, one month return, 10.87, three months, 9.6. Well, yet today down 10.5. Let's talk to Arise business analyst, Chika Mbonu. Joins us on this money, wet Monday morning. Yes, uh, wet Monday morning. Good I to, morning. I had to jog from Falomoto, <laughs> the studio this morning. Oh, rainy you know, season is mini, here. Mini Olympics. Indeed. And you indeed. know, they've told us that July is gonna be filled with rain. Indeed. So you have your umbrellas and your oh, coats ready. Oh, yes. And your boots. And boots. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fidelity man. Bank. Yes. You know, you know when uh, Dr. Nye, uh, uh, Iqbali, um, uh, the MD of uh, Fidelity Bank, yeah. mentioned this uh, issue to me and she had some concern. I said, oh, come on. I mean, the diaspora will take up everything. You, yeah. know, you, you know you're the diaspora bank. Yeah. You know, yeah. all the yeah. things they have been doing um, um, for Nigeria abroad. Um, the road shows they had in London, Houston, um, the amount of um, accounts have opened. You know, Philadelphia Bank happens to be the reference bank for the Aspara Bank in Nigeria. Yeah. I also told her that even the Aspara fails her, the women of Nigeria also will fail her, you know, yeah. uh, because, because of several things she also done to push um, for Nigerian women. They have this in this hair fidelity thing um, that they're, they're doing, special lending to women and so on and so forth. But, but it, it, that's it, man. My um, for my phone, my DM has been, been blowing in, up. In blowing up at the airport, we will see waiting for flight. They come to me. What do you think about Fidel? What do you think about Fidel? You know, they say, should yeah. we invest? Yeah. Even though my daughter that came in from UK last week and said that I have, you know, I made some, you know, these days those who M pounds. Hey, uh, uh, they are kings know, and queens. Other than a thousand pounds, now Ooh. almost two, two million naira. Oh my so goodness! He said he wanted some investment in Nigeria yeah. and. What do I think? He read about Philadelphia. So what I'm going to say this morning, basically what I told my daughter um, to convince her to buy the stocks, you know. Um, the first thing is that um, if let's come to the market, yeah. you know, for, for two bundles of uh, issues. The first one is called the, for, the, for the owners, so the existing shareholders of the bank, the rights issue. Yeah. And then for the general public, you know, the public issue. The rights issue comes in, I think, 925. And the public issue comes at 9, 975. Mm. Now, for the, the investors and for viewers who want to invest, um, if you wanted to buy from the stock market before now, it was yeah. about 10, 9, 80. Yep. So, this, for the owners of the bank, the owners of the bank, this came in at a significant discount, about 15% discount. And for those who are buying new, yeah. it came in at 10% um, you know, discount. So, it's, it's a very substantial discount. So, it's a good, a good buy for most of them. It's like, you know, now, uh, tomatoes and pepper is so expensive <laughs> now, and you, 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 they tell you in your estate that because belonging to this estate is sold ten naira eighty outside, but because you live in this estate, is um, you can buy it at nine twenty five. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. You better grab it. You you better, well, it's hot. Well, it's hot. Well, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. So I think the, the shares have been sold at a, a massive discount. Yeah. And so, but it's in shareholders and new um, people who should go and get it. Now, but I mean. For the investors now, do you just buy shares for buying check? Mm. Okay. You know, that's, I guess a lot of people ask me that. Why should they buy it? Okay. Investors buy t shares for two reasons. One is what they call capital appreciation. Yep. And the other one is dividend payment. Capital appreciation means that you buy it at um, um, 9 naira now, and within some time, it will move to 15 naira. 
Now, it means that you have gained uh, six naira yeah. over that. The dividend payment is like, okay, at the end of the year, um, they declare their results. They, that's the owner of the business. Part of the business, they're going to give you some dividend. Yeah. Uh, Fidelity has been um, f consistently for the last 18 years pay dividend every year. Yeah. And the dividends have been sizable. In the last three years, the dividends have been, you know, where, you know have increased substantially. Indeed, the last 2023 financial year increased by about 70% over the previous year. And then the other interesting thing about the dividend payment is that all of before, when you have to wait for a whole full year, right. now they do half year dividends. Which helps cash flow, of course, especially those of those of us who are paying school fees. So <laughs> it comes in, you know, around June, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, June, July. So and then it just sees that to pay instead of waiting for the full year. Mm. So the, the fidelity for the last two seasons have been doing that. Capital appreciation has been very substantial, also. It has. I think the one of the best in the market. They had about uh, almost two more than two ninety percent uh, percent on uh, uh, increase on return on investment mm. over the last three years between January and twenty four. The highest among is. Uh, it's it's PS. Yep. You know, yep. you know what, else, what, else, what else do you see there? What else do we see there? Um, you know, in, you know um, confidence. A lot of things, some things happened in the banking industry um, the last um, one month yep. where a, a, a bank was, um, you know, was liquidated yep. they, you know, by NDIC. Yeah. Um, so the, a lot of people also have asked me, asked me a question then, I'm still asking. You know, especially those who are not in this terrain. Yeah. Uh, with the bank last, of course, Fidelity is one of the well-managed uh, banks. Strong balance sheets. Strong balance sheets. Yep. Bal the management is very stable, very stable management. You know, um, directors comprising of uh, seasoned and um, um, professionals in different disciplines, cutting across various sections of the, of the country. Mm. Um, they have had very strong growth records, you know, profitability year on year, and the trajectory has been on. Um, um, no, as I said before, constant dividend uh, payment, and um, across all parameters. Remember, we talked about it about three, four years ago. That if we later had a five-year plan, yes, to move into the full gas, the top five banks. Tier one space, yeah, tier one yeah. space, and, and, and they hung it there. I yeah. think that was six down among uh, the Nigerian banks, and so one of the top biggest banks in Nigeria. And um, the board is very solid, as I said before, and. It's pro pro women, you know. Very About important. About fifty three percent of their staff yep. are, are, are women, and then a lot of their initiatives have also been focused on women. Yeah, you know, um, lending programs have been focused on women, and then um, of course I mentioned before the issue of helping Nigeria out. Um, if you go to ab abroad, they have so many centers for the BVN. Yep. Uh, they have brought in so much, um, introduced so many Nigerian businesses, more than about a thousand Nigerian businesses, to when they had their fair in Houston to. Um, American um, 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 SME support, uh, right? SME support. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, so for the investors who are who are interested in doing this, I, I say go ahead. The one other thing that happens, you know, some people just sit and say, ah, I beg go everywhere. I'm hearing Fidelity Bank, Fidelity Bank. Maybe if I put my shares now, buy the shares now, I won't be allotted shares. Yeah, you know. And uh, what happened to my money? A Fidelity, I think on July 26th, they're going to an extraordinary AGM yep. where they're going to announce and get a, a submit approval by the, the, the exchange that every of our subscription will be all be uh, absorbed. Mm. So bring the money, you know, yeah. everybody should bring, bring their money. Go and buy the shares there and let's wait for these um, uh, uh, returns to come in. Okay. You know, decent dividend payments, yeah. capital appreciation, solid management. Yeah. Uh, so fidelity is dead for you to take. Strong company. Uh, just a minute to go. Any thoughts on the ECOWAS? Uh... Echo, the only, my, my only thought is, my, Lizzo, I need to confirm. You know, I have this ECOWAS passport. I used to travel around with <laughs> yeah, Africa. Yeah. You know, so if I go to Burkina Faso or Chad or Mali now, yeah. I don't know whether they, allow me, whether they allow me in or whether I have to carry my Nigerian passport. But you see, sometimes I, talk, I look at ECOWAS as a missed opportunity. Yeah. That is like a plane on the wrong way, not taken off. Mm. There's so much, so much potential. Right. That will be, um, if where they get them. If you travel to Ghana, it's almost like Lagos, Nigeria. Right. If you go to somewhere, it's like that. You know, I travel around this country. We're all together. And I don't know why anybody should divide us. You know, so I think the President Tribu should coalesce the, the strength of these um, ne uh, the multiple countries. Yeah. And, you know, let the strength of West Africa, you know, it was, you know, rise up, you know, to where it's supposed to uh, belong. Yeah. Um, you know, we have been also being battered this region be battered by insecurity, insecurity. and uh, with the, all these bandits moving from country to country. I guess that's what the president talked about, that everybody should try and pay their subscription. Yeah, correct. Uh, so that uh, the ECOWAS standing force 
another allied security initiatives will be addressed. Mm. You right. know, we'll, yeah. we'll see how mm. things work out mm. there. Arise mm. Business Analyst, Chika Bon Chika, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Talking to us about Fidelity Bank and of course the latest from my course. Appreciate your time. Mm.